Today we're going to build an icosahedron out of 572 magnetic balls. Uh, these are bucky balls. Any of them, as long as they're all the same size, will work. I just have a, a pile of, him, of these to work with. What we're going to do is start by creating lines of these magnetic balls and create two different shapes. And this is the easiest way to build an icosahedron um, is with, so we're going to start with this one. I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, the five-sided ones. Measure out five of these and we'll fold this around. So we have a pentagon, pentagram shape and then begin to wind a second tier, a second circle around that inner circle. The second circle has a total of 10. So here we have 5 in the middle, 10 around that, that's 15, and then we add a centerpiece here, and this is the shape that we Want. We need 12 of this shape here. As you can see, it's not flat. There are little mountains of buckyballs, but very symmetrical. And so we'll set this aside, and we want to make a total of 12 of these. Then we have six measured out on our longer string of buckyballs. We twist this around form the hexagon shape and then carefully wrap another 12 as a second layer until we get a shape that looks like this and then we can place one more so here we have 19 buckyballs one in the middle, six in the first ring, and twelve in the second ring. And again, we are building twenty of this shape. And we have twelve of these five-sided shapes. And we have twenty of these six-sided shapes. Now we're going to assemble all of them into the icosahedron. I'm going to start with one of the six-sided shapes and on three of the opposing sides I'm going to connect five-sided shapes. And so I start with a shape like this. So a six-sided shape in the middle and a five-sided shape on three of the sides. Then I'll take the six-sided shapes and fill in between like this and then continue wherever there's a five-sided shape exposed I will put a six-sided shape against a five-sided shape. I have to make sure that my polarity is correct because I want the buckyballs to lay flat against one another, tangent to one another. And again over here we have another one and there's one more over here on this side and we will connect another six-sided shape. So what we end up with to start with is something that looks like this. A bit of a cup. Now, here's a five-sided, here's a five-sided. Uh, they both have a centerpiece that is protruding, so I know where to put the next five-sided piece. And it's going to form a triangle with this. So I can put this one right in there. 
and do the same as I go around in the circle here and here. There are two points of the five-sided one, so I'll put another five-sided one there to form a triangle. Turning this around, the same thing. Here are two five-sided ones, and the third one goes there to make a triangle. And then, there are other places where I can do the same thing. Here's two five-sided ones here, so I can place another five-sided shape right there. And then over here, here's two five-sided shapes. And I can place another five-sided shape here on the other side of a six-sided shape. And again, here are two more, which are five-sided shapes, so I can put another six-sided shape a five-sided shape and place another five-sided shape right in there and then I can add more of the six-sided shapes so wherever I see these five-sided shapes I can place a six-sided shape into those spaces completely around the circle again making sure that the polarity is correct there we go and now we have spaces for more of the five-sided shapes next oh, sorry six-sided shapes we have room for more of the six-sided shapes next to here's a five-sided shape here where there's a a dimple and we can place wherever we find these like over here then we can place a six-sided shape into next to the five-sided shape and here's another one right here I'll place another six-sided shape in there and then Looks like I need four more pieces. I'll take the five-sided shapes, put those into position, and finally the last piece, which is a six-sided shape here, I'll fit into there. I'll just fall right in the shape, and what we have then is an icosahedron. An icosahedron has 12 points, 12 vertices, and has 20 flat triangular sides and edges between those vertices points forming the edge of the triangles here are 30 sides. So we have 30 sides, 20 faces which are triangular and 12 vertices and there we have an interesting shape which is all made out of these magnetic balls you look at it from one side and it looks like a pentagon pentagonal shape you look at it from another viewpoint and it looks hexagonal and the fun thing about these magnetic balls these bucky balls is once you're done with it you can just go and Have fun making something else. Good night.